Home is a sanctuary. It's where the heart is, where you find comfort and solace after a long day. But what many may not be aware of is our homes sit atop a soil rich in the radioactive gas radon. Radon is a colorless, odorless, radioactive gas that actually comes from the natural decay of uranium in the soil. Radon concentration is a little higher in the, in the Midwest, kind of due to two factors. Uh, the first one is that geological formations in the area uh, contain and produce a higher amount of, of radon. Uh, and the second portion is that given our cold climate, how we build and operate our homes um, has an impact on that. According to the Minnesota Department of Health, radon levels are highest at their point of entry, which often can be a basement or a crawl space, and it can enter the home a number of ways. It can come in through uh, cracks in the foundation, um, you know, wall floor joints, you know, kind of in the corners. Um, some homes have sump pumps, you know, where it'll pump water to the outside and that's directly exposed to soil, so radon can come in through there. And even though radon is something we can't fully get away from, prolonged exposure to high levels can be life-threatening. Since radon is a radioactive gas, it does have the potential to create lung cancer. Uh, it's actually the number one cause of lung cancer among non-smokers and the number two cause of lung cancer among smokers after tobacco use. This is why every home should be regularly tested for radon. Residents can buy the at-home radon test kits at any local hardware store. They range in price from about $12 to $50, depending on what you get. And they're actually very easy to use. All you're going to do is open this package, and once it's unsealed, the test has literally begun. The only restrictions for placing the radon test is you're going to want it three feet away from exterior doors and windows and at least two feet up off the ground. So, like I said, you place it and now you wait. Revisit the test kit after the specified time, seal the bag and send it to the laboratory. The results of the tests come back a few weeks later and those results will determine further action. Despite the serious health concerns, it is a manageable problem. Like we talked before, you could retest your home, um, see what levels it comes back as again. Um, if it is continually high elevated levels, then you could contact a certified contractor. Um, they have a list through the Minnesota Department of Health website, and they would be able to come out, give you a consultation, and, and maybe a bid on some potential solutions to, to mitigate the radon. Bulberg said it's important to know once you test your home for radon, that information must be disclosed when trying to sell that home. It's important not to get stressed out about it. Um, just be aware of it, test your home, and then kind of evaluate your risk, what you feel comfortable with in your home. For additional information, visit the city's website and keyword search radon.